Remember this, a summer of train turmoil. Delayed infrastructure upgrades and poor planning meant timetable changes left hundreds of trains cancelled. The verdict, no one took charge. That verdict delivered just as the government announces a major review of our railways. What I'm going to do is deliver a change to the railways that address the concerns in the report. Uh, the report points right across the industry to things that aren't working properly. I think we have an industry that's now too fragmented for the pressures on it. The report authors criticise train companies Northern Rail and Govia Thameslink, track operator Network Rail, the government in the Department for Transport and even themselves, the regulator, the Office of Rail and Road. The report says they all made mistakes, that there was poor information and an apparent gap in industry responsibility and accountability. We will make recommendations before the end of the year on the strength of our diagnosis of what went wrong. Um, certainly things need to change to stop it happening again. Our trains keep getting busier, ticket prices keep going up. Most of the cancellations were on Thameslink. Some commuters here have become campaigners for change. There's no single person or single organisation that will take responsibility and be accountable for the rail changes. The Department for Transport blame Network Rail, the Network Rail point the finger at Thameslink and it all becomes a vicious circle. The call is for closer partnership between who runs the trains and who runs the tracks. In Manchester, how confident are Northern Rail passengers about things improving? My train's late pretty much consistently every day, so... What there's... faith do you have that will ever change? Um, nothing at the moment. It's not enough trains, they're not on time, there's not enough carriages. Pretty basic stuff. Yeah. On the wall here at Manchester, Victoria, a glimpse of the past, the old Northern Network map from more than a hundred years ago. The government says bold plans are needed to deliver a railway fit for the 21st century.